Are working in childcare, for the most part, their go-to need when it comes to if they've hurt themselves or if they, you know, feeling a bit emotional, they need a hug. And so probably lifting children's the, the main one, something to be aware of when we're working here at the, at the childcare. But we do have some really strict thinking around how to keep well in terms of illness. Washing hands many, many times a day, being aware of kind of proximity to children who might be have a, have a cold or a cough or a, all kinds of things like that. So at our setting here, we actually, we have someone on staff from 8 till 5.30, our opening hours. Um, who is WHS trained. The hazards that, that are kind of more about the, the gear that we're using with the kids, you know, we, we've actually got a, a carpet in our space that has this amazing ability to make all toys invisible. Really the main thing I would say is that the job is far more physically demanding than I think a lot of people expect that you need to be aware that you are bending and stretching and twisting and moving in ways that you certainly wouldn't do in an office job. Particularly with lifting and manual handling and those sorts of things, um, core stability and strength and support of your back is one of the biggest issues. Every time I'm educating someone on that, I usually like to uh, use a little bit of my own medicine and I'll switch on my core or I'll really think about being strong and stable when I'm, when I'm doing things like treating people, so I sort of daily, you know, whether it's 12 patients a day or 10 patients a day. If I can do that myself 10 times a day, then I think that I'm putting myself, you know, my back health and my, um, and my strength and conditioning and stuff to the test a little bit each day. October is National Safe Work Month. Visit the website to find out how you can get involved. Safety is everyone's business and your knowledge and experience is worth sharing.